In our preceding video, we learnt about when firm earns supernormal profit. Let us now see the case of normal profit, the minimum level of profit that keeps the firm competitive. It is also known as the break-even production decision of firm. When the price of the product, when the price of the product is just enough to cover the average cost of production that the firm uncurred, that is when price equals average cost, the firm will enjoy normal profit. Super normal profit will be zero. The situation faced by firm is also known as break-even situation. And thus, the equality between price and average cost is also known as break-even condition. Again, multiplying both sides by quantity, we can alternatively present the condition as total revenue equals total cost. Let us examine the normal profit situation of firm using figure. In figure, the demand curve of the price taker firm is shown by the horizontal line, which is also the average revenue and marginal revenue curve of firm. Here is the marginal cost curve. And the equilibrium of the firm is achieved at point E, where marginal revenue equals marginal cost and marginal cost curve cuts marginal revenue curve from below. That is both necessary and sufficient condition for equilibrium is satisfied at point E. Equilibrium output level is Q0. Now, to show the normal profit, let us introduce the average cost curve in such a way that its minimum point lies on the marginal cost curve but it touches the price line. That is, the average cost curve will be tangent to the price line and its minimum point lies on the marginal cost curve. Now, in figure, price equals OP equals EQ0. Again, price equals OP equals EQ0. And average cost at Q0 output level that we know from the average cost curve is also EQ0 equals OP. Again, average cost at Q0 output level is EQ0 or OP. Since price EQ0 or OP equals average cost EQ0 or OP, that is since price equals average cost, the firm receives only normal profit. Super normal profit is absent. At point E, price and average cost become equal, which is the condition for break-even. Thus point E is also called a break-even point. At break-even, firm earns only normal profit. One may get confused with the difference between supernormal profit and normal profit. Normal profit is the reward of entrepreneurial effort. Normal profits are defined as the minimum level of profit needed for a firm to remain competitive in the market. This minimum level of profit is included in the cost of production. And when the price covers average cost, this minimum level of profit is covered as well. If the firm is able to earn more profit over this minimum level, this will be super normal profit or excess profit that we discussed in our preceding video. Now, multiplying price by quantity, we can have total revenue. For OQ not output level, price is OP. Therefore, total revenue equals P multiplied by Q equals OP multiplied by OQ not. In figure, Vertical distance OP multiplied by horizontal distance OQ0 yields the area of the rectangle OPEQ0 shown by the orange colored area. Let us examine again. Total revenue equals P multiplied by Q equals OP multiplied by OQ0. In figure, vertical distance OP multiplied by horizontal distance OQ0 yields the area of the rectangle OPEQ0 shown by the orange colored area. Again, multiplying average cost by quantity, we can arrive at total cost. In figure, at Q0 output level, average cost EQ0 equals OP. Therefore, total cost equals OP multiplied by OQ0. In figure, vertical distance OP multiplied by horizontal distance OQ0 is equal to the area of the rectangle OPEQ0 shown by the blue colored curve in figure. Let us see once again. In figure, 
at Q0 output level, average cost EQ0 equals OP. Therefore, total cost equals OP multiplied by OQ0. In figure, vertical distance OP multiplied by horizontal distance OQ0 is equal to the area of the rectangle OPEQ0, shown by the blue colored curve in figure. Clearly, total revenue shown by the area OPEQ0 is equal to total cost shown by the area OPEQ0. That is total revenue equals total cost, which implies super normal profit is zero. That is the firm earns normal profit. Deducting total revenue from total cost, we can have the profit. Here, total revenue minus total cost equals area OPEQ0 minus area OPEQ0. That is equal to zero. It indicates the firm earns only normal profit. Zero profit means normal profit. Since total revenue and total cost are equal, super normal profit is zero. But the minimum level of profit that is required for the firm to remain competitive in the market is achieved, as total revenue covers entire total cost.